Hey guys, welcome back to the Attractive Japan YouTube channel. My name's Lacey and today I'm here in Kagawa. I'm going to be venturing out on a boat to a couple of the islands in the Seto and then sea, so let's go! Kagawa Prefecture is located in Shikoku, the smallest of the four main islands in Japan. Kagawa is right along the Seto Inland Sea, which is known for having 727 islands. Today, I'm visiting one of them, Ogishima. <laughs> hey guys, I've made it to Aogishima, an island in Kagawa Prefecture, which is famous for art all around the island. And I can't wait to explore and to show you! Aogijima is made up of a couple of mountains all shoved together on one island, which means it is very steep, <laughs> hilly, and narrow, made up with several narrow, narrow, narrow alleyways. There is a shrine at the top of one of the main mountains of the island, and there is a lighthouse to the north as well. As I mentioned before, Ogijima is also famous for art and is one of the venues of the Seto Uchi Trinil Art Festival. Outside the festival, there are art pieces all around the island that can also be viewed. Here is Toya Tamahime Shrine, which people come to pray for safe delivery and childbirth. <laughs> After taking a steep climb up to the shrine, you get a beautiful view of the island and the village. The island is also known for onba, which are like little carts or trolleys that are used on the island. Many of the locals use them to help um, carry goods around the island as it is very steep. Aogishima is known for having artwork all around the island and these artworks are made out of wood that comes from old uh, unused houses and all of the colors are colors that are found naturally throughout the island. Here is one of the places to stay on the island and if you notice they have ice cream! Oh, this way. That's the way from my finger.
We had a very local lunch on the island made of mixed rice. And actually, the owner had to go out, but he knows our tour guide, so he left some for us. For the final part of our tour, we made it up to the lighthouse on the island. It's a tiny lighthouse with a local charm, and usually it's a little more green depending on the season, but I guess this is what you get in the dead of winter. Now we're done at Oyishima and it's time to head back on the ferry! Thank you guys so much for watching and coming with me to Ogijima. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos about Japan. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box down below. See you next time!